I actually, I want to know because I always thought they would have sleeper seats and you'd be able to do what you want. Yeah, you sit next to Robin. I sat across from Robin and next to Lance Armstrong and, and across from Kid oh, Rock. Did Lance Armstrong t tie his ball bag off like the end of a balloon? No. <laughs> but, but, like Joaquin Phoenix's cleft lip? Oh. But, but Lance kept saying after a while that he was going to uh, whip me into shape, and I kept saying to him oh. he didn't understand that I was an evolutionary jump ahead of him, yeah. <laughs> that I'd reached the point he's still worried about his body. I'm living way beyond it. As a matter of fact, the body is just what I enter to kind of do this stuff, and then most of the time I'm floating. Around. I gotta ask you, Lewis. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you tell that he only had one testicle? Um, yeah, because it's on the side of his face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but in photos, in photos, they airbrush it out. That's funny. What would he do if he was sleeping? Did you walk around when he fell asleep and try poking the front of his pants to see what side the, the fucking deflated balloon was on? <laughs> I would have poked his bag in his fucking oh, jeans. Wow. Hopefully he wore like like sportabouts, like fucking light blue sportabouts. Wow. Your balls are so visible. He's a hero, Jimmy. Is he? He's Lance Armstrong. He fucking yeah. rode a bike with one ball. <laughs> applause, applause. Go oh, fuck yourself. Well, you try to <laughs> ride deal. a bike straight down the road with one ball. Ah. Why would I? <laughs> I'd fucking hop in a cab. Take me. I got one ball. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> fucking beat it. Beat it, show off. What are you going to do with your scrotum skin? He probably wraps around his cock like a fucking cocktail wiener and tells jokes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fuck you. Wow. wow. They love this guy, though, this last yeah, time. They, they love yeah. him. Yeah, good for him. Zip around the mountain again. <laughs> fucking mister, it's all about you. Wow. And fucking eat Cheryl Crow's ass. <laughs> You're boring me. Always making left turns because he has one ball. <laughs> of course he is. He's really good at karate on one side. Hey and the other leg just won't lift up. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> fucking talk to me about your nut. We get it. <laughs> but he, he survived ball cancer. I mean, I think that's good that he did that. I, yeah, I, I, have, a, I respect that. He's got an inspirational story with oh. a lot of people that are fighting the big C out there. Yeah, he does. He fucking just keeps removing <laughs> things so he's lighter and he can ride faster. It's fucking cheating. <laughs> Why don't you just have your arms taken off? Fucking tape your face to the handlebars so you're a little lighter. Fighting well, the big C, Cheryl Crow. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Uh, no, she my was sister youngest. was the youngest. She yeah, was, was how old when you divorced? Uh, I was. Oh, I was. She was probably eight, something like that. Yeah, it was like ten. That's rough. Something. I like was. That. I was ten when my parents divorced. Him, yeah, and I was yeah. the youngest. I was like ten. I found it after my mother said my dad uh, wanted to leave, and she said you have to stay till he's ten. Oh, so wow. they stayed married for three miserable years, just waiting for me to turn ten. Like the three and worst like, years. As you're blowing out candles, he's putting luggage in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and me and my brother would sit there and just like we we would be in in uh, on bunk beds in the bedroom, but they could hear us, mm -hmm. and we. I'd swear we'd be just whispering to each other, anything like, did you see the commercial for the new Hot Wheels and stuff? Isn't it so cool? We didn't want to get inside. And we'd hear from inside, hey, knock it off in there and get to sleep. If you're not to sleep in, in 15 minutes, I'll come in there. And then you're sitting there going, oh, my God, my body has to f fall asleep. Or he's going to no, I'm not. Asleep. How much pressure is that on a kid to sleep? Like, I know. Is that, and then we couldn't talk, so, so lower, even lower. Just try, We were just kids trying to enjoy yes. each other's company. And he would come over. And hang the belt on the doorknob. Oh, Jesus. And it would like That's swing. Sleep. The light would glisten off the buckle. Like, I yeah. remember this vividly. Like, that belt would be the warning. That's going to make you sleep. Nice and you'd me. stare at the belt and be, i got eight minutes left. Holy <laughs> shit, he's going to know. I can't fake it. I can't shut my eyes. I'm not a fucking actor. I can't shut my eyes and make believe I'm asleep. He can uh. tell I'm not asleep. <laughs> It was just frightening. What would have happened if, like, after you went back in the living room, if you opened the door and took the belt and threw it back down the hall and go, you forgot your belt, stupid. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Oh, oh, would I have loved to have been able to do awesome. something like the that. Plank it on the floor after you throw it. Marge, if, if we raised a million dollars for you, uh, contingent on you just slapping one dog in the face. The answer is no. Really? A million, a a million, million dollars. dollars. To sacrifice one dog's like feelings for a second to help all those other animals. Think about it. Marge, how about this? Would you say for $50, take a thumbtack and stick a, a note to a dog's nose that oh. says, I'm a dog and I suck. <laughs> <laughs> that little leathery nose, all wet. <laughs> Marge, here's a real offer. 
Okay, the guys have been silly geese, so my okay. apologies. Yeah, yeah. I'll okay, try accept them. Take a chihuahua, and and this is for sixty-three dollars. Sixty-three bucks. And I want you to grab the chihuahua <laughs> by its ears, and I want you to squeeze its ears until your knuckles, until like your your fingernails are digging back into your own skin through its ears. <laughs> and I want you to put your face by it with your old lady breath, and I want you to scream racial epithets into its face. <laughs> Sixty-three bucks there, Marge. Uh, Sixty-three dollar roonies. How about? <laughs> uh, we got Steve from Yellowstone on the on the phone. Uh, Steve, you're talking to Donna. Hi, Donna. How are you? Oh, great. How are you, Steve? Hello. Hi. I can't really hear. Can you hear uh -oh. me? I can hear you. Oh, fine. I hope so. Oh, Donna, can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. I cannot hear her at all. This connection oh, no. is messed up. And apparently at the office, we don't have people who are going to help us when we're calling in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a shame because... Uh... Oh. Hold on. I, I'm very apologetic. I'm trying to turn the volume up on the phone. I don't know why it's not... Maybe Don Wicklin can help unless he's waxing his chest. <laughs> he wouldn't be doing it. Yeah, that's... I know. Okay, why would Donna anybody help? Because I'm standing too. here like an idiot on hold. I guess I'll just stand here and continue to talk. I can't I can hear, hear you, Jericho. Yeah, I, I, I think the uh, there's something the, wrong with the phone. Something wrong with the phone. But we have so many callers that want to uh, talk about Mars. Ron and I'll call back. talk to you. God, maybe if he calls back, oh, that'd be bad. now. Now, Donna, uh, obviously, uh, you're. <laughs> I'm about to hold it. Wow, I could hear that. Holy fucking shit! Uh oh. <laughs> Somebody's cursing on the air. <laughs> nice. Let me make it. Let me make it an amendment. A, a, yes. An animal that we shouldn't kill. Mm -hmm. Any animal that has like no hindquarter hair that shits, because <laughs> there's nothing for the fucking shit to cake to. <laughs> if there's a smooth ass animal and it shits smoothly and there's no hindquarter legs <laughs> and, and hair, I'm sorry, no hindquarter hair, then it should be allowed to live. Uh, even if it doesn't wipe. No, because it probably doesn't have. It can't wipe. Oh, you're well, being reasonable now. Yeah, maybe I don't know. It has no fucking. It's got hooves or some fucking <laughs> creepy things that are good for scaling trees. Any animal that rubs its ass on bark as an attempt to wipe because it's seen people. I think bears do that. All right, then bears can. I've seen, bear, but bears have so much hair back there. All they wind up doing is smearing it all they over don't their know ass. Any better. They're just. They're just. They're just trying to be like people. I'm just trying to record some production. <laughs> That's why they wander into our neighborhoods. They're trying to assimilate. We keep shooting them, <laughs> making rugs out of them. <laughs> they don't know any better. They think when they see when they see a lodge with a bear laying in front of a fireplace and people fucking on it, they think he's part of the team. <laughs> Do you think the bears is, is yeah now see pot talk continues uh you think uh, you think the bears are are coming into our neighborhoods cuz uh they they could be the first bear that gets along with us yeah they, i mean the first animal they that, think it's going to be like we're going to share everything with right, them right, they want right. to be a part of yeah part of the human race they want to drive they're ready, cars they're ready and they're like look man we're done with the woods and stuff we yeah we want to yeah. drive cars we want to get a job i want to have kids we want to wait at bus stops we want to do house. everything you're doing they, Just, don't, they don't understand taxidermy they see a bear mounted with his arms <laughs> up they think we worship them <laughs> <laughs> they expect to stroll in like gods <laughs> <laughs> we just shoot them in the head yeah, brother we fucking shoot a tranquilizing darts into them and then fucking haul them back to the Drag woods. Drag them back into their shitty, shitty lives. Shit takes fur, beat it, stupid. Or their little cubs are sitting there going, but daddy, I thought you had this figured out for us. Exactly. Beat it, you three-legged trap victim. <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunt of a bear. Buzz off. <laughs> Before I wear one of your shitty claws as a necklace. A little memento. Toward dominance. <laughs> a little momentum. Yeah, beat it, honey eater. Of my weekend in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. And well, it's been a great day. A fun filled show. A little odd doing it from these studios. They don't understand. They think that, like, the fucking bears that, like, ride bikes and dance, they think the bears that dance have made it. <laughs> they, they think that they're respected sh stars in show business. <laughs> Did you hear about Barry? He went over to Romania. He's a big dancing star. <laughs> they have no idea there's a fucking a rusty hook through Barry's nose. <laughs> Being led in a circle by fucking gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barry.
Barry. Oh, oh, Barry's fucking awful. <laughs> one, one false yeah. move. He's getting a cattle prod up his ass. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Poor Barry. He fuck has to walk on his hind legs and pretend he's dancing. <laughs> but they don't have the internet yet, so the story is passed down. Oh, they have oh, no God. idea. So by the time the story gets back to the woods, you know, Barry's a star. Rusty. <laughs> yeah, Rusty <laughs> hooking his nose as they fucking they yank on it if Barry doesn't do the, the fucking the Watusi properly. <laughs> <laughs> I think Barry's a big dance star. He's a star of stage and screen. <laughs> His nose is always running from the hook and the, and the hole it made. Trying to figure out how they could be like Barry. The infections. <laughs> they're practicing their dance moves, but they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, that's what they're doing when they rub their shitty asses on the bark tree. They're fucking, they fucking—they think they're dancing. They're going cha 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 cha. Why can't you be more like your cousin Barry? He's a big star. He's a big star in Romania. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. All right. Make me laugh. Mm. So, Pot Talk Monday. Have Travis write that down. <laughs> it's worked well. We'll do another one next Monday. Thank you for coming in, sweetheart. The bicycle bicycling bear's feet are nailed to the <laughs> of pedals. Of course they are. <laughs> If the fucking bike tips over, he, he can't jump off. <laughs> he just has to lay there. Like an asshole. Well, While they help pull on that rusty ring to get the bike up. <laughs> and they but, never take him off the bike. He has to sleep that way. He has to shit that way. So, nobody wants to help him up either because he's clawing and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, let him tire himself out like that. And then fucking, when he falls asleep, I'll prop him back up. <laughs> like, we're just trying to help you up, you fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, leave him uh, there. Write his family. Tell him Barry's a big star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bears are idiots. <laughs> they really are. Thank God they have comfy fur. <laughs> Fucking stupid rugs. <laughs> First you're a shit machine, now you're a rug. Why did God make you? They're good for two things. Shitting and fucking on. <laughs> and taxidermy. <laughs> 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 All right, I want to buy a big stuffed bear <laughs> just yeah. to burn it <laughs> <laughs> and kick it over. <laughs> so it just lives for nothing. <laughs> it's not even beautiful in death. <laughs> just fucking tip it over, burning a like Saddam statue, and laugh at it. What do you think of that shit machine? <laughs> Your life has been for naught. It's for nothing. <laughs> you ate a few berries and then you got shot. Oh, fuck yourself. Stuffed and burned and pushed over. Exactly. And the taxidermist had to comb your hair over the fucking trap marks in your fat little bear leg. Stupid. What, do you think somebody just left a big snack in the middle of a steel circle? With teeth on it, you ask? <laughs> What could that have been? I'd love to ask a bear, what did you think that was? It was a metal circle with spikes coming out of it. How could that have worked out? Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Do you think someone just left a big pile of honey and berries in the middle of the woods for no reason? <laughs> Fucking moron. Oh. You know how stupid a bear must feel when a trap closes on its leg? <laughs> He's probably like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they oh, did, yeah. They did tell me about I, this shit. I remember now. I heard about this. Oh, yeah. Normally when I get berries, they're not in a bushel with honey sprinkled on them. <laughs> I have to rip them off trees. Normally there's bees stinging me. <laughs> Did he make the runway? No. Get out of Beats here. Beats the crap out of Sully, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Where did he put this plane down? In three places, <laughs> apparently. Uh, the Amsterdam airport, apparently. Oh, he didn't make the airport, just not the runway? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that picture. We'll put that up on O&A some, Radio. Actually, it was on some island um, that is a very strange island. The plane <laughs> broke apart. Uh, we get to watch their hijinks and shenanigans every week on a show called Lost, which uh. is on this evening. Oh, good. I get to, it got too weird for me. I, I watched half the first yeah, episode. That's the whole thing. It got too weird for you. Me, what was that, the first episode? I, I don't know why. I have to rewatch. I, I have to watch the opening episode. Oh, my God. Yes. You're never going to get through this series. I do. I don't know why. At that pace. No, no I mean this for the season. 
The season. Oh, the season. The season. I, yeah. I thought you went back to the, the first some time no, travel going on. I know. I like that. Where's our camp? It hasn't been built yet. <laughs> the word lost tumble at you. All right, we got it. <laughs> the word lost tumble. Oh, miss what happened, guys. Shut up. We spun the island in a circle. But Where's that's... Ben? And how did this hair lip get fixed on the island? But that's cool. <laughs> Oh, like right all already. The island uh, I, kind of moving through time. The doctor got shot. He had an appendectomy. Everybody now all of a sudden they're at Lincoln's house. Don't sign that. It's like, what's going on? <laughs> Lincoln's it's, it's so house. dopey. Oh, oh, we're lost. No one knows where we are. Turn the island and put it there. <laughs> put it there. Just, you can just do what you want with the island. That's how they got out of getting a boring. I like your uh, yeah. synopsis. That's very good. Season six, Lost on the Moon. <laughs> oh, no, there are moon rocks. What should we do? It's a baby. <laughs> how do we breathe? Yes. And how does Walt have a 42-year-old son after season two? I don't know. Let's write him out of the script. The others. Shut up. What others? Now all of a sudden the others are hot doctor. She's the one we were afraid of, the hot chick that Ben is banging. Right. Not Ben. Uh, the, uh, yeah. The doctor. Uh, yeah. And then they're back in L.A. and Fatso has a meltdown and crashes a car. Well, they, they go forward like three years. Exactly. And then they go back. They do the flash backs and the flash forwards. That's when you hear the... Yeah. That's, fl that's flash forward, I believe. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Right? I won't remember. That must sound great in flash your home forward? theater. And what's a flash back? Do we have a flash back sound? It's the same sound. No, backwards. we don't. It's yeah. backwards. That's it is kind of like backwards. Thing. So you know which way you're going. Yeah. I actually did not pick that up. There's been penny. Penny. Oh, God. What happened one. to me, penny? I think uh, something might happen to Penny. We have to see uh, this week. Oh, I the... think Ben had some shenanigans. Yeah, with the boat and the Richard Widmore guy. Penny! Oh, the big boat and everybody's a fake crash. because it's, it's so... They had to lie to save the people yeah, on the yeah, island. I know they did, and everybody's the rich guys out to get them. I want those plane crash. Shut up. It doesn't happen like that. Yeah, that's the show. Of course it doesn't happen like that. It's a fake show. It turns the island like it's the SS Minnow. <laughs> <laughs> a big steering wheel with the island attached to it. What the hell is he doing? Wheel. And big lights come out of it like it's magic. It had some power source that the island had in it and then, uh, you know, uh, somehow this, this wheel is there and when yes. you turn it, it kind of, you go through time. Yeah. Not really space, you just kind of uh, you're not really moving, I don't think. You're just kind of moving through time. Yeah, and Sawyer, I've had enough of him. I still don't shave bright eyes. We got it. You, <laughs> you're the guy who no one likes. We right. <laughs> got it. The rebel with a nickname for everyone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, Freckles. Yeah, hey, Freckles. <laughs> hey, hey there, no good legs. Why do they have some good nicknames? <laughs> Fat pig and no good legs. <laughs> I'm and Kevorkian. That's what you should call this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Next. because things that happened in episode one yeah. have to tie up and tie into things that are like in episodes now. Right. So it's very difficult to do that unless mm -hmm. you kind of have a plan of what's going on. Like the giant three-fingered statue that only made it into that one or two episodes, and then ABC got creeped out by it. Remember that when they were in the, on the water and there's a giant... Uh, oh, it had like a, a four toes. A four toes. Four toes. Well, if you notice, Sawyer, as he was walking through the woods, uh, did nail his foot with a very sharp implement and was like, ah, and then pulled it out of his toe. Could it be that Sawyer is the statue uh, after something happens with this? Perhaps it gets infected. He loses a toe, and it's actually a statue of Sawyer because he does something as he's traveling through time that makes him, you know, the man. No, that's not no. what happens at all. He just probably has a Band-Aid, and then uh, Hurley does something mysterious, and then Saeed kills eight people. <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> I, love, I, was, I love Jimmy's synopsis. I was an assassin for two years in the Iraqi army, and all of a sudden I get the whole world by the balls. Shut up. <laughs> you don't. Stop. But they knew where they were going from the first episode. Yeah, I, I know what happens, too. Matthew Fox runs in with a machine gun and just mows everybody down, <laughs> and then no answers are ever told. It's like, the end. Yeah, then Ben's just driving the island all over Midtown New York. <laughs> 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 Turn on a giant wheel. Oh, well, the island's going away.
What? Where's Penny in the boat? You can move the island? Sure can. Yes. Yes, That's nonsense. stupid. <laughs> Through time. And Sawyer's like, what, did, did you see that? And then the 80-year-old the interracial couple pops out. <laughs> yeah. Bernard and Rose. Yeah, Bernard's yelling, I one black Bernard character. One black character. Where are you? I hate Bernard and Rose. Not for obvious reasons. Yeah. I just don't think they add anything to the They're story. They're ugly. That's They're why useless. I hate them. Yes, they shouldn't be on the show. How about Seal? pretty people. Seal and Heidi Klum, I wouldn't mind banging on the <laughs> Island. I don't like to see Bernard and fat used to have cancer. Rose went through Australia. She's fine now. Well, the island does have certain healing properties, as we saw with Locke, who was crippled. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh, it can walk fine now. Although every episode, he's getting another leg injury. Yeah, he really is falling apart. <laughs> he's stabbed, shot in the legs. And Vincent, the dog, is still there. He was in an episode. Ah, oh, I yes. was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering. How about Walt's thirty-eight-year-old uh, son? Which is, by the way, why they had to write the. Um, I'm guessing that's why they had to write. Who was the, the black dude in the first? It was Walt, right? Yeah, yeah. No, Mike, to, Michael is the father. I'm sorry, Michael. I apologize. Yeah. Michael, Walt's the kid. They had to write him out of the first season because the kid probably grows. With kids, they get too big, so all of a sudden you can't make it look like three months mm -hmm. when the kid all of a sudden has a growth spurt. I bet you that kid's parents are fuming. They'd probably make him sleep with like a metal T-square on his head and feet so he didn't grow. <laughs> <laughs> clamp. A big clamp on him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Stop growing meal oh, tickets. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> I just That's fantastic. Wow, I have no desire to see this show. No, now, now I can't wait best. to see tonight's episode tonight's yeah, based great. on Jimmy's. Like, I just want to see everything Jimmy said come true. I hate the new people. <laughs> I want to see Ben steering the island down <laughs> midtown. Manhattan. Exactly. He's got one arm propped up on a tree stump. The other one's steering the island. <laughs>